What? Yeah. My parents will be furious. Genetics! Today we are gonna learn about our genealogy, or as I like to call it, eugeneology. We're working with a very cool company called 23andMe. They basically read your spit and tell you where your family is from. Who all those old people were, that bone. If any of the Try Guys find out they're part anything else, they are going to celebrate like it's their birthday. It would be interesting if I'm more parts of Europe, because I only really know about the German, Irish, Scottish bit. I will pay you a million dollars if you have anything African in your results. Oh, man. Today, we're gonna go over your ancestry reports. We compared your DNA to our 31 reference populations and we assigned you percentages based on your genetic similarity to them. All from spit. All from spit. How much spit does your laboratory get every day? We have over two million customers. Each person is approximately two milliliters of spit. That's a lot of spit! Yeah. I have a, a decent understanding of my makeup, but it gets really hazy because of World War II. Maybe I'm Italian. Maybe I'm French. Maybe I'm... I don't know any other European countries. I have a grandmother from Germany. I have two grandfathers from somewhere in Russia. Who knows? I'm pretty confident today that I'm not gonna be surprised by anything. I've always just been a Korean guy. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that I'm 50% Italian. I don't know percentages, I don't know specifics. 930 seconds well, 330 seconds English, 330 seconds Irish, and 130 second that we don't know. One of these is Scotland, yeah? All right, Zach, so uh, what did you think your ancestry was? I believe that my entire family is Ashkenazi Jew. Okay. To be Jewish is something that I'm very proud of. I think it has shaped who I am and who I aspire to be. We assume we all started off in the motherland, Israel. But uh, a lot of people claim that. So, Zach, you are 99.6% <laughs> European. <laughs> Alright, okay. let's break down your European a little bit further. How about that? Sure. Alright, you are correct. You're 88.7% Ashkenazi Jewish. 88. I thought I was full blood. Oh, uh, well, someone lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> you are also Northwestern European, 4.2%. Okay. So that's broken down into 0.2% Finnish. I'm Finnish? Finnish and Scandinavian people are like, they're hot, right? The percentage that's not Ashkenazi, mm -hmm. what is it? Iberian or Italian. You're part Spanish. So it could be Spain or Portugal. What? So that's just like one person in my family was like, fuck it, I'm gonna not marry a Jew. Is it weird that I'm like disappointed that I don't have more of a mix? Do you always come across white people being disappointed they're yeah. not mixed? Yeah. Oh, I wish I was a little more spicy, but I'm just vanilla yeah. like I thought. <laughs> I'm not vanilla, I'm more like hummus, I guess. All right, Keith, you're up. Oh boy, I'm a white dude, you know? White dudes aren't super complicated. We probably came from Europe. I don't know anything about this. So what a rude awakening. Maybe I don't deserve to know where I'm from. I don't know, it's one of these. Somewhere in there. Let's take a look. You are 99.8. European. Mm. Guys, why are you what are you acting like this for? I mean, it's very clear that I'm the whitest yeah. man. To be fair, we always joke about who the whitest try guy yeah. is. So now we're actually yeah. gonna find out genetically who actually is white. So Keith is more white than Zach. Yes. Yes. You have 0.2% sub-Saharan African. I will pay you a million dollars if you have anything African in your results. Oh man! Suck it. <laughs> I did two percent. So that comes into play sometime between 1810 and 1720. I, I thought this was real cool until I remembered what the British were doing in the 1700s, and now yeah. I'm thinking it's less cool. I don't think that was a love thing. happens in a lot of places. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was. You so don't know if it wasn't love. It could have been like food been. traders. And yeah, it could be there. Really, it really could have just anybody. been friends. The fact is, we'll never know. Spit will never tell us that kind of thing. It's true. Yeah. So you are 52.7% British and Irish. Oh, yeah. okay. So that, that includes your Scottish ancestry. Did you know, though, that fried chicken originates from Scotland? I didn't know that. What if your so ancestors created fried, fried chicken. chicken? Can you tell us that they didn't? I can't. It's on the table. <laughs> it's on the table. Wow, wow, I can't wow. believe they did that. You are 3.7% Southern European, 0.3% Balkan, um, and then 3.4% broadly Southern European. I would say that so far, all the places you've named love their food. I think you like food from everywhere, don't you? That's true. <laughs> but the Asian countries are too spicy for me typically, so That's it makes true. sense that I'm not Asian at all. Also, I don't look Asian. There's <laughs> more. Uh, you are 0.4% Ashkenazi Jewish. <gasps> Whoa! Maybe you guys can get bar mitzvahed together. <laughs> Maybe I was the little bit you needed. All right, Nad, so what did you think 
your ancestry was. My mom's family is half Italian and my dad's family is very into genealogy. So I know my genetics down to the 30 seconds. That's me. Your family has thought a lot about this. Are they gonna be upset if you're not half Italian? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I put all my eggs in the Italian basket. Got it. So if I'm not half Italian, I, I'm gonna have to change my holiday traditions. We joke that he's the most white. You're correct. <laughs> What's the number? What's the number? You are 99.9%. So let's break that down for you. 15.6% French and German. Yo, bro, your fractions are fucked. Yo, yeah, my fractions off. are way off. Okay, are you ready for your Italian? Oh, yeah. You are 18.4% Italian. What? <laughs> Come on. That's, that's less than one fifth. That's really low. So you do have 15.1% broadly Southern European DNA, which doesn't mm. mean that it's not Italian. It's just we can't pinpoint it. But it doesn't mean that it's definitely Italian. Exactly. No, it's very sad for me. You are 2.4% Iberian. Oh. Spanish. Oh, Spanish. 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 That explains why you're such a good dancer. You've got Native American <gasps> in here. I do? Yeah. Likely, again, not a proud <laughs> data point, but it's, yeah. it is a data point. Have you seen depictions of Thanksgiving in children's elementary school happened. textbooks? Did you read what actually happened to Pocahontas? Sadly, you've got 0.0% Ashkenazi Jewish. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro, it's kind of an exclusive <laughs> thing. Even I'm only 0.4%. Okay, so now it's time to go over Eugene's results. Now I will shade in the country or countries my ancestors are from. Done. I just cannot imagine myself being even any other Asian country. Both well, my parents are 100% Korean, and if I'm not, then my mom and dad are gonna get a very surprising call. You're excited? Nervous? Uh, I'm, I'm just expecting it to be Korean. You are not 100% Korean. <sighs> you are 63.1% Korean. Oh. <laughs> You are 19.9% Japanese. 19.9. 19.9. My parents will be furious. You are 13.1% Chinese. What? Yeah. 13.1%? 13.1%. Your family's full of liars. Well. <laughs> <laughs> These are not insignificant numbers. No? No. Those are... Those These are like whole chunks of like huge parts of relative. That's one eighth. One eighth. Is this the only the only way I, I can accept this based on my family history is that the Chinese and Japanese entering my DNA are from like a thousand years ago. Oh, that's that's the only explanation that's because I've only been told Korean, 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 Korean all the way up for like since Korea was created on land. A thousand years ago would not leave seventeen or thirteen percent. Most likely a grandparent, great grandparent, or second great grandparent who is one hundred percent Chinese. What? What? For Japanese great-grandparent, second great-grandparent, or third great-grandparent, who is 100% Japanese. Japanese. How about that? <laughs> How do you feel? I mean, I, I'm just shocked. I just, I've always just been told I'm Korean. There's like no other, there was like no other option. Do you think you're gonna tell your parents? Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna say, no, it's not true. Broken system, <laughs> bad math. I would have actually not been that surprised if it was like 500 years ago yeah. or 300 years ago, but in the past 100 years, having a full Chinese and Japanese person within my DNA is yeah. really mind-boggling. I'm telling you, we should look to see if you guys are related. How can what? we do that? Can you do that we'll, now? We'll do that after. What? Oh. <laughs> this doesn't change my perception of who I am, but it does change my perception of where my family came from. Look, I'm not gonna stop eating panettone at Christmas time, just because this tells me I'm only 18% Italian. Genetics is different from culture. That is your cultural upbringing, and that is still really valid and strong. I think it's more important than your genetics. I don't honestly expect that I'm gonna marry someone who's Jewish. I probably won't, and I hope that our babies are fucking from everywhere. Someone from here has to do with me. Someone from over here has to do with me. That's a bigger picture of like human evolution, right? Like we're, we're a lot of different things. I wanna shade in every country on this goddamn map five generations from now. So you guys wanna find out if you're related? Yes. Okay. You guys wanna all hold hands? We could not detect identical DNA segments. Dang it. Well. You couldn't detect it because the technology's not ready? <sighs> or it's not there? It's not there. <sighs> uh, but maybe if new technology gets invented. Give me another tube, I got more spit. I'm gonna spit some more. One, two, three. Yay, Yay science! science!
Wait, does that mean that Eugene can make all the Japanese and Chinese jokes he wants and he's totally clear? One fifth and one sixth of me can. I don't know if it counts for the African and the native. One you know. out of every 500 jokes <laughs> <laughs> is allowed to be a little less sensitive. Uh -huh.